Zion, did you realize on that dunk in the second quarter that you bent the backboard slash rim slash basket? Uh, not at all. I think I uh, went into the halftime and my teammates started telling me about it. Uh, I don't know which dunk it was on, but I don't think it was me. Front row on your right. Zion, what was your favorite moment of tonight's game, your first time? I think you guys are going to like this one. When Ja threw me the lob from half court. Reminisce on that. Back to ninth grade. Uh, it was crazy, honestly. Because um, after I called it and like we got like a timeout, we got subbed out, uh, I was thinking about our Hornets days. And I keep thinking never in a million years where I thought we would have been in this game or been in the situations we're in. So it was that moment. Fifth row on the right side. Hey, Zion, how are you uh, from Mexico? Uh, just wanted to know, who are you going with for the slam dunk contest tomorrow? Um, I've been asked that question a lot. And honestly, I can't give an answer. Because uh, to be honest, it's who goes out there and executes uh, and gets on the first try. So whoever gets it, they get it. Uh, but I can't pick. Number uh, two, right here in the third row. Hey, Zion, what was it like sharing the court again with RJ? And uh, what were you thinking when he uh, stopped you on that fast break? Um, it was great sharing the court with RJ again. Um, you know, I missed it. I missed it the first time when we went to New York, the Pelicans, and I didn't wasn't able to play due to injury. But uh, it was great to get out there again and play with my brother. And when he stopped me on that, uh, that fast break, I, I was kind of like, man. You're the last person I thought they would do that. Uh, but it was all fun and games. Because uh, he let me get, he basically let me get the next one. So, I mean, it's just brothers messing around. Dan, back right. Zion over here, Dan Wykey with the Los Angeles Times. Um, from getting in at, what, like 2.30 in the morning or something like that to all the media earlier today to the game. What, what's this been like, this first 24 hours at All Star for you? Um, Honestly, uh, I don't until the game time. I, I don't think I could tell you what time it was uh, throughout the day. It was just shoot around, event, event, uh, media, media, uh, arena. So it was a great experience, but um, it went by fast. If I'm being honest, it went by too fast. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to sit in my room like later or when I get back home and just you know take in the whole day to truly enjoy it. Hey, Zion, uh, ChristianClarkNola.com, uh, right over here. Um, I, I saw you got a chance to, to talk to President Obama earlier today. You know, he, he said that he was paying attention when you had 32 last night. Just how cool is it that, you know, President Obama is, is, is paying attention to these games? First off, he's a cool dude, man. Like, it's Obama, come on. Um, but uh, I gained so much more respect from him just from by him saying that, um, I was like, you probably have one of the most busy schedules in the world, and you're able to keep up with a rookie, like superstars, college people, even high school people, like, and tell them their stats and, like, what they've been doing good, what they can work on. So when he told me that, I just gained so much more respect for him. Right here on the left side, on two. Zion Cali Kaplan with the Dallas Morning News. That was the first time you got to play against Luca this season. What was that like, and did you pick up any uh, interesting Luca stories across the day? Um, honestly, I don't even know if I can count it as my first time playing against Luca. I feel like he was just, he was just chilling. Like, come on, y'all know he was just chilling. Um, but you know, uh, he's a he's a great player. Um, you know, his resume shows it. And no, I didn't really hear any Luca stories today. Last question, David, right here. Zion, David Aldridge with The Athletic. Um, I know you weren't born yet when the Bulls were winning championships here. I just wonder how you learned about them. How did you, what was your frame of reference in learning about them? Um, it was my mom that led me to watching Michael Jordan, the Bulls. I told her, I asked her when I first started playing basketball, who should I go watch? And she told me, uh, Jordan, Bird, and Magic. And 
you know, uh, watch. I think I started with Magic. I was like, man, he 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 can pass the ball. Bird, uh, you know, he can shoot. He can. He's all around player. But uh, when I got to Jordan, she told me to watch full games, not highlights. And I I watched full games and. You know, as a kid, you know, the stuff he was doing, it was incredible to watch, uh, you know, getting a steal, saving it, and then doing a backwards layup or floating through the lane, like through three people, dunking it. Um, so as a kid, that really caught my attention. And from then, I just watched every full game Michael Jordan clip I could find. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.